guys, <laughs> this is it. We are in the promised land. Like, oh my god, look at these silky, silky smooth animations. I am just like speeding around everywhere. Nothing is laggy. Not a single thing is laggy. Let me go check out the Colossus and oh my god, look at that. Holy moly, it's just running at light speed. And so I hope you guys are as excited as I am for this. And so let's get you guys set up. Hi, welcome to an Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace and today we're gonna to be setting up the DMM client, the PC client for Alchemy Stars. Massive caveat to this, I believe this is probably gonna only work for like the global server, the C server, Korean server and JP server. Because as we know it, we are all coming from the same client but like the US is not. And so for those of you who are playing on Alchemy Stars Aurora Blast, which is also known as the US server, this is probably not gonna work for you. And so my condolences. On top of that, this is not officially supported like this was made for the JP players. And so if this one day just gets taken away from us, then uh, well, you, you'll know that it was coming. But otherwise, enough with the pessimism. Let's get right into the steps. And so first of all, what you're going to want to do is head to this website, dmg.alchemystars.jp. There is going to be a big button in the middle called Game uh, Start. I, I believe that's what that means. And so if you click on that button, you will be presented with this menu. And so you want to click this one over here, DMM Game Player for Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and that's gonna trigger a download. So as you can see, DMM Game Player set up. And so after this is downloaded, so I've already got it downloaded. So I'm just gonna click this one over here. And so you guys can see what is about to happen. And so there is a setup language here, English, and then you just choose where you want to install this game player and then go ahead and install it. And that's pretty much it. DMM should launch right after it's finished installing. And if it hasn't launched, then just go ahead, go into your start menu and look for DMM. I'm going to exit the setup now because I've already actually installed it. As you can see down here, it is this bad boy over here. And so before you can actually get to this screen, you're going to have to come over to this website here, games.dmm.com en, and then go ahead and click on registration and create an account. And so I know you guys are probably going to be taken aback. You see all this Japanese, but you'll see that there is an English option up here. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And so after it has loaded, as you can see, we have English everywhere. And so just go ahead and register a DMM account, remember that you do need to verify the account via your email address. And then after you've verified your email address, you should be getting something like this over here. As you can see, it's a whole bunch of Japanese, but if I actually like go ahead and translate that, thank you for registering, the profile registration is complete. And so it's only after you've gotten this message that you know you've completed the registration process. And so I just wanted to show you guys membership authentication email. So you gotta click here and then there is gonna be this guy here. And so again, after you click this, your username and password should be active and we can go ahead and log into DMM. And so let's go ahead and fire up the DMM client. This is certainly not what you're going to be seeing. And so in a nutshell, you're going to be going into DMM for the first time and they will ask you for your username and password. You just have to plug it in and you'll be presented at a screen similar to this. You probably won't have Alchemy Stars already. And so the login screen is going to look something like this. Honestly, if you guys are having any trouble at any step of the process, just go ahead and go to this website, translate yandex.com slash OCR. And then all you have to do is take a screenshot. So I'm gonna take up the snipping tool over here. I'm gonna open up DMM and I'm gonna just do a quick snip. So I'm gonna snip like all of this here. And so as you can see, I have a screenshot of a whole bunch of Japanese. I'm gonna hit control C or you can go to edit and copy and then come down to Yandex translate and then paste it right into here. And it's going to translate everything that is Japanese into English. And so as you can see, the orange button is the play button. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna click this bad boy here. And so this is the interesting part. So let me just get out of there. And so from here, there are a couple of options. For me personally, I actually automatically got taken to the Alchemy Stars page. And so what I mean by that is that when my DMM launched after I logged in, I, I saw this. This is actually what I saw. So you can see this is Alchemy Stars in the Japanese language. And then we've got this orange button over here, which is what we want to press. So after clicking this orange button, a lot of things happen. For me personally, there was a lot of waiting involved. You're going to click it a couple of times and you're going to be like, well, nothing's happening. Why is nothing happening? And the reality is, is I think it's installing stuff in the background. So for me, I think there was like a Visual Studio C++ redistributable that was installing. And then there was like one or two other things that popped up and then kind of disappeared. But the bottom line is that I clicked the orange button and then 
it went for like three minutes not doing anything and then something popped up and then it disappeared. And then another thing popped up, the redistributable package and it asked me if I wanted to install it. I hit yes and then it started downloading. And so as it's about to download, it will show you something like this, which is where you want to install the Alchemy Stars client. And so it's pretty straightforward. And as you can see, depending on your environment, the software required to start the game may be installed. For me, that was that redistributable package. Otherwise, if you guys already have it, it's just going to start downloading. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, my download has finished. There is a tick there. But what you will notice is quite long download time. So I know a lot of people that are quite far away from the JP servers. I'm talking like in the EU or the US or Canada and stuff like that. Me, I'm in Australia. And so I think I am closer to the JP servers. So my download was actually quite fast. It took about one hour for me to download it. But I know for those guys, it's like up three hours and it's still going. And so hopefully it will be a painless process. And the only thing that you can do is wait until you get this over here. And so after you get the green check mark, I went over here, which is, I think it says my games. And then Alchemy Stars was right here. And so I just clicked it and it launched. And so what happened next was pretty interesting. So I've got a whole bunch of screenshots showing what exactly happened. So as you can see over here, my game actually loaded in English. I clicked through the menus as if I was just going to log in. And then I was presented with this pop up. So please confirm that you have linked your mobile client account. And so this is actually a really important step because you need to go back to either your emulator or your mobile phone and you need to go ahead and link that account to your DMM account. And so if I show you guys what that looks like, essentially you needed to go into your settings. So if you guys don't know where that is, that's just this cog icon over here. And then so this is the settings menu for the system. So back over here, this is on my phone. And then you'll notice that there is a link account button down here. And if you guys don't see this button, it's probably because you have not downloaded the latest update from the app store. And so you guys need to go ahead and go to the app store and get that update. However, I preemptively updated it. And so this is what I saw. I clicked the link account button. And then after clicking that, it took me to this screen over here, which is link account to your DMM account. And so it says after linking your DMM account to your guest account, you will be unable to link another account. Don't be scared about this. It doesn't mean that you can't play on your phone anymore. All it means is that once this account is linked to a DMM account, you can't link it to another DMM account. And so guys, I just want to give you guys some assurance that it is still working on my mobile phone. So have a look at this over here. This is not an image. I'm going to try to click something. Uh, yep, you can see it's going somewhere. And so hopefully that will alleviate your fears in like not being able to play on your mobile phone or your emulator anymore. And so back to this one over here, link account DMM. Remember, we are doing this on your mobile account or where your account is existing right now. And then after you click this button, you'll be prompted your DMM username and password in which you will log into it. And then after you've successfully logged into your DMM account, you're going to see this. After linking your DMM account, you will only be able to log in using the linked DMM account. Again, this is just saying, is this the correct DMM account that you want to link to? And so after you hit confirm, that's it. That's all of the steps that you need to do on mobile phone. And so after doing all of this, you're going to want to go back to your client over here. Unfortunately, I got logged out of my client because I was playing on my phone, which is pretty respectable. It's fine. And so again, at this point, hopefully you will still have this screen up on your computer. All you have to do now is click linked over here, and then it's going to take you to the next screen, which is the server screen. Oh, baby. Again, guys, as you can see, global JP, KR, and C servers all available. And so I just went ahead and clicked the global server, click confirm, and then it asked me for my country. I put in Australia because that's where I was from, and then I was in the game. That was it. And so guys, I just want to show off this PC client one more time because it is everything you want from a PC client for a mobile game. Just clicking through all of the menus, everything is super, super fast. Like look at that over there. And then look, look, there is actually a DMM gift. I'm gonna go ahead and click into that and you're gonna see, we're gonna get a bunch of star flares. We're gonna get some Lumamba and some Prism. It's all the good stuff. I'm gonna hop out of that. I'm gonna show you guys how freaking silky smooth this game is right now. Oh my God. I'm gonna go ahead and look at some of the like the key offenders for lagging. So one of them would be the Colossus. Like it's always laggy in the Colossus, no matter which freaking uh, client or method you're using. I'm gonna go ahead and click into this one. It is, oh my God. It is seriously like an 11 out of 10. And so next I'm gonna go into the Aurorian screen. Like, oh my God, it is fast. It is so freaking fast. And so that's it guys. Hopefully you have been able to get up to this stage because I know a lot of people get stuck on the download. Like the server's just so freaking slow. Hopefully the registration process wasn't too hard like getting onto the DMM. Like for God's sake, there's English here. There really should not be a problem. However, if you guys do have any problems with this registration process, let me know down in the comments below and we will sort you out. 
But otherwise, that is the end of the tutorial. This is just... This is so freaking hype, my guys. I want to know how you guys are feeling. Do you like what you see? Are you guys hyped that there is finally a PC client? Although it is, it was designed for the JP people. But you know, if we can use it, then we might as well use it as well, right? Or do you guys feel like it's a lot of effort for a little bit of gain? I, I don't think so. I think this is freaking sick. But it is not about what I think. It is about what you guys think. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Because it means that you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But guys, if this video has helped you, then please consider a like, a sub, a follow, a comment. But otherwise, as Gronru once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.